Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to point your domain name to your web host. In order to have a website, after registering for your domain name and your hosting system, you need to point these two to each other so that if somebody types in your website address, they can see your files which are basically saved on your host. Uh, this process of connecting these two to each other is called pointing. Uh, the process is very very simple when you sign up for your host you will receive an email that gives you two DNS numbers you need to copy those and then you need to come in here to your domain registrar and log in uh, in this example I'm showing how to work with GoDaddy so basically you need to come to GoDaddy here and sign in to your account I've done this already and I'm going to show you what you see after logging in. There you go. You see a list of all your domains. Let's work with this example. So this website address already has a DNS by default, which is set by GoDaddy. But I'm going to change this to look into HostGator. All you need to do is to click on DNS right here. It will take you to this page. Let's scroll down. Under name servers, you see uh, there are two default DNS numbers, and we need to change these. All you need to do is to click on the word change, click on the drop down menu, and go for custom, and then type those DNS that you basically made a note out of. For instance, if this is a uh, host gator, it would start with a number, whatever number is. I don't know. I'm just giving you an example here. Let's say it's 2555.hostgator.com. Usually the second one is very similar to the first one and it just has one uh, number added to it. So I'm going to punch in 2556.hostgator.com and then you're gonna click save and that's pretty much it disclaimer keep in mind that this process uh, needs about two hours to 72 hours to go through meaning in order to be able to see your website online you have to wait for at least a few hours um, after this this process what you can do is uh, to start designing your website if you're doing WordPress after a few hours you can start uh, installing WordPress and then installing your theme and building your website from there on. I hope this video helps you. Thank you.